Ranch. So welcome to today's video, uh, next to Nelson, Liana. We should have stayed in Venice, this is a ridiculous amount of wind. I don't know if you can hear anything I'm saying. We're gonna go and do something Tour de Friends related. <laughs> On the other it's side, it's not of over yet. It's, it's not, not over, over yet. yet. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Something we were gonna do when we got there. Well, we've got a tailwind the whole way there. Let's go. Excellent. Woo! Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. shorts on. Yeah. Are they helping with the wind? No. <laughs> Took us about 10 minutes to climb one hill. <laughs> I didn't film anything after the tattoo because it was so windy. I just met Daisy, we're in Richmond Park and uh, got something pretty special to show you in that direction where we're going to have a headwind. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What have you done? know what I've done. <laughs> well, I'm on a bicycle. Right, hang on a minute. The viewers don't know anything about this. It's this about is, time we revealed. This is the secret, isn't it? You bought a bike shop. Bought a bike shop. Uh, it's good. You look very smart. I think that bike shops should be different. Uh, one of the things we're going to try and achieve here is to change the experience. I liken it to when you buy a watch, you don't walk in and see some scruffy Francis Cade lookalike that is wearing shorts and trainers and a t-shirt to sell you like an expensive watch. And you know, people are spending 10, 15, 20,000 pounds on bicycles. Why should it be any different? So it's all gonna start with fit, of course. Um, I so you're am, still doing bike fitting? I am still doing bike fitting. Uh, I, you know, contrary to some people's, I had like over a hundred messages on Instagram when I said I was leaving Sigma Sport. And basically all of them were like, what? I kind of, a couple of days went by and I posted something about here. But I'm still fitting, got a new fit studio. I bought a jig the other day. That's the most expensive thing I've ever bought in my <laughs> entire life. Uh, well, come on, let's, let's have a look around. Yeah. So this is our clothing section, which at the moment... Uh, He's got no head. Clothing is is going to change dramatically, mostly because it's it's, with, it's filled with brands that you know they they're available online, they're discounted quite heavily online. Um, I, you know, I, I'm going to have a bit of a an ethos in the shop that we're not going to sell stuff that you can buy online. We're going to focus very heavily on custom bikes. Uh, we're one of the only independent fabrication dealers in the country. We're the only number 22 dealer beautiful in the country. Beautiful bikes. Yeah, really beautiful Both bikes. Both of those brands. Historically this year. I mean, so it's... Levi has one and he only buys nice stuff. Levi has one and he does... Does he only buy nice stuff? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm. He might quite like what's at the bottom of the stairs then. I'll try not to fall down these stairs. And so, certainly fall the parts. But that was in Vegas. Great divides, one for our customer, one of our customers. Which is custom titanium, MV4, MV front end, Dura Ace, DI2, Halo product, really nice product. So this room, we've got lots of ideas for. Yeah, we have, yeah, yeah, yeah. This a room, nice brown sofa. This room is potentially the home for Cage TV, right? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot gonna happen in here. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a bike on the wall here, I'm gonna put a coffee table where you're standing. I'm gonna put a bike on the wall there and a bike on the wall there. That shit I'm going to set fire to. It's gonna kind of double up as TV. Studio. We've got space for loads of stuff. Test product reviews, use it as a filming base for talking to the camera, anything. I actually had a meeting with Bearded George today. Ooh, uh, uh, lovable, that's why you saw the van. A lovable bearded wonder. Um, and we've got some exciting ideas that you and I need to talk about as well um, for, dare I say it, Bike Fit Tuesdays. It's been a long time since we've had an episode. It's been a long those, time mate. since we've done a Bike Fit Tuesdays and now we can do Bike Fit Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The viewers might get bored. They might get bored. <laughs> no one wants to listen to you that long. My new Bike Fit Studio. No one really wants to listen to me for a start, but. Uh, new bike fit studio, uh, the moment I'm using this, which is okay, it's fine, but I've, I've, I've bought a jig that's it's on its way, uh, they're, they're building it at the moment, so it's going to be a couple of weeks. <coughs> what the hell is that? Bike fit 
James video cameras, what the floof. It's probably going to be a YouTube channel coming when I can finally figure out how to work, how the hell to work Da Vinci. Sounds like competition. Not competition at all, mate. You're way too good. Boring bike fit stuff, and a little bit more serious than my uh, my alter ego that is Bike Fit James. But it's still going to be Bike Fit James, serious Bike Fit James. You're Sounds use terrible. A deep voice. We're going to put on a really fake deep, deep voice. voice. <laughs> <laughs> Four-way cameras. I've got pressure map, saddle pressure mapping system coming. Uh, cameras on all four planes, which they're not all set up yet. I've been drilling holes in the wall all day. Uh, and again, purely custom fit bike. Done a load of bike fitting already. Only been here for three days. Uh, it's awesome. It's just, it's really, really nice to have something you can properly call home. Uh, so come on down. There are, there are quite a lot of plans for the shop as well. We're gonna probably turn it into an espresso bar. So move it further and further away from it being a bike shop and for it to be more, a little bit more like a boutique where you're just going to have a very small selection of really nice stuff. Uh, you'll, be, you'll still be able to get your usual inner tubes and you know, a few bits and pieces of clothing, but it's, I want to take it further and further away from stack it high and watch it fly and just selling shit that you can't get behind and who equally just discount product online to getting behind brands like Number 22 that, sell, that make really, really gorgeous products and getting behind them and selling them to people who want them and actually care. Loads of passion involved, uh, I've got some good staff, I'm going to be hiring as well. I need an apprentice, so anyone who wants to get into bike fitting is in the area, maybe wants to learn about bike fitting and get into it. God, imagine having you as a boss though. Give me a shout, well, yeah. People with like an anatomical background will be treated with a preference. So, you know, if you're a physio, osteo, you want to get into, or Cairo, and you want to get into bike fitting, give me a shout, put it in the comments. Uh, so this is really it, to be honest. It's a, it's a little shop, but it doesn't need to be big. It doesn't have a lot of stock, which is a good thing, which means I don't owe lots of money to people. Uh, I've got, a really cool, oh, great clothing uh, clothing company coming through who shall remain remain anonymous uh, because I don't know who else knowing about it until I've got it here. And uh, I've got a couple of shoe brands, and yeah, that's it really. Fucking badass, dude! Yeah, fucking badass! Colin Caterpillar. What we think is cheap. Buying a bike? Yeah. Gotta get these out the window before uh, so someone doesn't nick them. This, believe it or not, is an e-bike. What? It's badass, dude. It's a Cancellaras. Your little arms won't be able to pick that up. It's not that heavy, though. I know, it? it's not. So, the Where's motor the, you is like? there. You turn it on there. You plug it in there. Very good, thing. Does it have a limit on it? Does it like... Uh, it's like 80 miles. There you go. Oh, thanks, convenient. Yeah, you can do your 300 miles now. My shop looks really fucking cool through your camera. <laughs> yeah, I look shit in real life, mate. You dick. I'm excited for you, man. Me too, bro. What can people do? They've got to come and visit. When should they come? Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't all come in at once, but... There we go. I'd love for people to come down. We're in Richmond. The shop's called Bicycle. It's on... 128 Sheen Road, TW9, uh, 1UR. You can, uh, you can follow us on Bicycle Richmond, at Bicycle Richmond, on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and you follow me, Bifit James, on Twitter and Instagram, if you don't already. What's that? You just plug in your own channel now? Unfollow him if you uh, follow him already. <laughs> Ugh, what is that? Poo stain. <laughs> what a load of old shit! <laughs> that should be a Francis Cade video, that, mate. Or at least a Lawrence Carpenter. That, no, we're not going to plug Lawrence Carpenter. Why? The fuck is always in Richmond Park and he hasn't once been in yet. Mind you, I, I ought to give him a little bit longer than two days, right? He probably broke his mech hanger. 